guys welcome back so today's video I want to do a fall makeup look I'm feeling very inspired by fall we've had some very cool crisp mornings here I even had my windows open this morning for the first time in months and I want to do it using affordable drugstore makeup one of the things I want to play with is this new palette by pixie new to me I don't know if it's new to the market but it's pixie and it's Judy time I just got this in the mail a couple days ago and I've already played with it I did a little bit of a get ready with me on Instagram live if you don't follow me on snapchat or Instagram I would recommend doing that and Twitter all the links are below but that's where I like do things first anyway so I want to play with this today and then a few other just affordable drugstore options so let's get started Here's a close-up of this palette. As you can see, there's some nice mattes in this palette. I've already played with it a few times, so I already know how it blends, and it does perform really well. Um, so I'm going to start off with this lighter shade right here, and I'm going to use a Sephora Pro Tapered Brush number 19. This is a nice creamy peach shade. Makes a really nice transition color in the crease, especially if you like a little bit more of a warmer option. I haven't actually played with this brush too much. I picked it up this summer when I was on vacation. And I like that it's a little bit tapered. However, I'm so used to my Wayne Goss brushes that they're, this is a little scratchy um, compared to those, of course. That's like not a comparison at all. I love my Wayne Goss brushes, but I also like to try out different things too, you know. Um, I mean, when I find a brush I really like, I use it a lot. And I definitely have my diehards. Fall is my absolute favorite time of year. I love the cooling down. I love the leaves changing. I do not like pumpkin spice lattes. I am not a pumpkin spice latte kind of girl. I'm a flat white kind of girl. How are you guys liking this room? Is it too dark? I have my umbrella lights on over there and I have some lights on in the room, but this is the only window in the house I can literally sit right in front of, except for my son's room. I could film in there, but I just feel like that would be a weird background. I mean, not that there's a whole lot going on here, but I don't know. I'm kind of to the point now where it's, this is the guest bedroom and I hadn't been filming in here because I thought it was going to be too dark which as we get into winter the the lighting will probably change but I can leave my stuff up in here and shut the door whereas before I was always taking stuff down and putting it away and I just thought that was oh, straight up annoying honestly really impressed with how these blend quite honestly it's just they're very lightweight I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is gonna be the next darkest matte shade and I'm gonna take a tapered Small Tapered Blending E45 from Sigma. I like to use more tapered brushes because my crease socket is very deep and I found that huge brushes or even ones that don't come tapered, um, like even like the MAC 217, I, I like that for the first application like of a crease color, but this, the deeper we go, I need more of a tapered or you, you can see how it kind of skips right there because the brush just can't get into my deep sockets. I just like to play and makeup and chat with you guys, honestly. If I could have like a way to make this into a talk show, I totally would. I've always secretly wanted to be a talk show host. I, I mean, I would binge watch QVC for hours and <laughs> I would like, oh, this is really stupid and lame, but I would in my mind like sell, sell myself things or like tell my husband 100 reasons why we need so-and-so product that I saw today. Cause I don't know, I'm just, I just like to chat and I feel like I'm pretty convincing at least as a wife I'm pretty convincing <laughs> like if I want something but who isn't but probably something like I love HGTV and Food Network so something that kind of marries like like a, the stay-at-home mom talk show or something like that would that be fun now I'm gonna dip into this one right here just like basically next darkest this is the performance blending e36 from Sigma Another one I really like for those darker colors in a smaller area because it really gets in there. You guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait till 2019 to watch the next season of Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh, I need to know what happens. <laughs> it's too long. It's like two years. That's way too long in between. But I'm currently binge watching, well, my husband and I are watching The Office, like from season one all the way through to the end because we've never done that. And then I'm also watching Breaking Bad right now, which is a very good show. Well, I mean, the subject matter might not be for everybody, but it actually, I mean, it's a good show. I wouldn't watch it if it were lame. I don't know, ever since we got Netflix like a couple years ago, I don't know, I love it. I love documentaries. I love to watch food and travel shows. I like to watch like 
houses like being for sale and what people are buying there's so many choices we could take this look in so many different directions right now yesterday I kind of did these two shades on my lid and just kind of ombre it and that was kind of fun you could definitely get more of a cooler kind of tone with this like taupey shade on your lid and these cooler browns with the black but I myself fall to me is like hot apple cider all these colors right here so we're gonna stay in that and we could put gold on the lid we could put this champagne color on the lid we could go darker and do this all over the lid I personally don't feel like I look my best with a dark color all over the lid so that's why I usually do a lighter shade but that's because of my eye shape so feel free to do that color that would be really pretty I've not played with this color yet so let's take this is a medium sweeper e54 from Sigma I like this brush for um, my lid because it's not too big. Ooh, that's kind of pretty right there. So I'm just going to keep this out here, I think. After I apply my lid shades, I always go back in and deepen up the outside. Because it kind of like, you know how the light colors kind of dust up the other colors? And then I always go back in with, this is the first brush I use, the Sephora 19. And just kind of blend my edges. And sometimes you lose a little bit of that intensity. So I'll go back into the first shade I did. Just kind of run it over the top here and then I have not been doing like pencil eyeliner on top and I don't think I want to mess with a wing today I was gonna use a NYX liner and do a wing but oh I don't want to mess with that so I've been enjoying just like smudging a darker color so I'm gonna dig into this color right here with a Morphe E36 any sort of pencil brush or quite frankly whatever I sometimes just take the edge of any old brush and just start smudging it like I said I'm not a professional I don't like do things probably how they should be but I just kind of smudge that along my lash line just to kind of like darken it up along the lash line and give the appearance of an eyeliner. I'm a fan of that kind of like messy eyeshadow look. Does that make sense? Like I don't like where it looks so perfect and precise and like there's a time and a place for that but on the, I just, I don't know. On me, I like where you just kind of dust a little of this, a little of that. Blend it all together and voila. I actually kind of take that philosophy into the kitchen. I mean, because I know you guys ask for recipes, but I'm the kind of cook where I take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And I stir it all up and I see what happens. And sometimes it's genius. And other times it's mush. I have been loving. Absolutely loving. They're so flattering. The Ardell Double Up Demi Wispies. I've worn this particular pair way too many times. But I feel like you can get a lot of use out of them. If you peel the glue off and you take care of them, I always store them back in their actual packaging or you know House of Lashes has one of those cases you can buy I store some in there too but I bought these this summer and I literally have been wearing these since what July but they're really good and I mean I take care of them so you should be able to get I mean I've probably worn these at least probably five six times forgot to do my brow bone so I'm just taking that champagne color on my inner corner and throwing it up on my brow bone even though it's slightly highlighting all of the Eyebrow hairs I need to pluck. Oh my gosh, it's I guess can't keep up guys. I can't keep up with my face. I think I just took that shadow down too far. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing most days. I think taking eyeshadow as liner is so much easier than trying to get a straight line with an eyeliner pencil. I always fear I'm gonna poke myself too, because I'm usually like in a rush or I'm just kind of like sloppy I'm sloppy I already told you that <laughs> I like to just kind of throw things on and be done with it I don't like to take a really long time when I first started my channel I was so nervous about like oh it has to be perfect and now I feel like the longer I'm doing it the more I'm like no it doesn't it doesn't like why do you feel and it doesn't matter what it is but when you try something new which this was all new to me I'm gonna put mascara in my lower lash line like why do you feel like it has to be perfect or like it has to be like what somebody else is doing you know what I mean like you just put that pressure on yourself and I did and I feel like I've really learned to just be myself not everyone's gonna like you that's okay I'm okay with that but you being genuine and being yourself is what makes you likable like I realize I'll bunch of people are going to make a fall makeup look it's fall that's what people are looking for like that's what you're interested in right now it would be totally dumb to do a spring makeup look right now because it is fall that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying be yourself while you do it now we're gonna do um, cheeks and I grabbed my makeup geek blushes because 
I don't actually have any drugstore drugstore blushes anymore. I just decluttered my collection. I kept my Makeup Geek ones. I personally love these pans. I just think it's great. It's convenient. So I'm going to reach for a warm shade today. I think I'm going to go with this one right here, which is Bliss. This is my Ride or Die blush brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 14. I just love how it applies. I love how you can blend out your edges as you're applying. I actually, a lot of the times, will do more than one blush, which you're like, well, why do you want to do that? Well, because I own a lot, and I might as well use it. I bought it. Um, and I also like how you can kind of sculpt out your cheeks by popping the lighter color, kind of like Charlotte Tilbury's blushes. You know, you have the dark color on the outside and the lighter color in the center, and it's to really sculpt out your cheeks. You know, pop that brighter color on the apples when you smile and then contour out the back with a little bit of a deeper shade okay i think i'm gonna pop a little bit of this what is this is this honeymoon no this is romance i hope these are still available if not i'm sorry i'm gonna pop a little bit of romance right here because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it yes i am still gonna do highlighter but i kind of like just a little bit of glow you know which is the Physician's Formula, this one in the super cute packaging with like the lace and whatever. What's this called? It's the Shimmer Strips All-in-One Custom Nude Palette for Face and Eyes. Woo! And I just broke the packaging. The packaging's so bulky. It's just, it's too much. Uh, this is the Wayne Goss uh, Fan Brush, and I'm going to kind of dip into some... Wow, I literally just broke it. I'm going to kind of go this way, because you can see how it's like lighter, and then there's pinks, and then there's like bronzy colors and stuff. So we're going to do this. Set my face. This is the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist, the rose water one. Mmm, it smells really lovely. It's got a nice sprayer on it too. It's a really fine mist. I feel like it gets all over the face without being like so wet and gloppy and you have like tears running down your face. And I forgot lip liner, so we're just going to roll with no lip liner today. Mmm, this is a pretty color. Heck, you know what? We're just going to stick with this today. I really like this color. Alright, so this is the finished look. I am really impressed with this palette. I think it is beautiful. If you're looking for a fall palette to try, something new, add to your collection, like you want to try something new, but you don't want to drop $60 on a palette or $40 on a palette, I would try this. I definitely recommended it. I thought that it performed well. I've used this several times and I've been just really impressed with it. Really yummy. So, and get this lip. This lip is like gorgeous. I basically like all the things that I use today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to be doing more. Yes? Yeah, let me know. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Um, I love fall. It just inspires me to do so many types of videos because I just love, I love so many things about fall. And you know when you get excited about something, it makes you just, it drives you. You just want to do more. So, Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will chat with you very soon. Bye, guys.